This Sheila is enjoying a leisurely ride, but little does she know she's in magpie territory. The magpie is Australia's biggest fucking bastard. It looks like she's overreacting. She's not. These little wankers are scarier than the bloody drop bears down here. There's a couple of fellas known for being jackasses. They're trying to pass themselves off as a real zebra. All the other zebras are like, who the fuck is that guy? Stop following us, you weirdo. We don't know you. Leave us alone. These ladies don't give a fuck though. They're thinking this creature is odd, but who cares as long as it tastes good. They get a nice mouth full of ass and off goes their head. If I was that zebra, I would totally be shitting myself. This guy thinks he can become a friend of the elephants. He says, I shall pleasure your trunk. BAM! No you won't, you cunt! Stay away from me trunk. Crikey, he got absolutely shit mixed. The horse at the back here doesn't want to go in that filthy as fuck water. The human persists, of course, so the horsey says, okay, here we go, and she goes for a full body swim. I wish I was in the crowd. That is the best free entertainment you'll ever get. People are filming this llama like they're the paparazzi. It must be a celebrity llama. It's got to be. It looks like it's getting fed up. Yup, there it goes. It's decided to fight back. It's gone after the lead journalist who keeps writing stories about it. It's like, fuck you, mate. I'm a good llama. I had a good career. You've made everyone think I'm guilty until proven innocent. Fuck you. I paid me taxes. I never cheated on the missus. You're just trying to make money off my fucking tip-top llama reputation acting like you're on a bloody moral high horse. I hate horses! And the celebrity llama journalist is out of here, retreating to the woods to think about his agenda. This guy reckons it's a good idea to bring a condor to a condor's game. It's not a good idea. It's a very shonky idea. The condor doesn't care about sports. It's thinking, fuck me, just let me go be a condor. The human tries to control it. He does manage to get it and he goes ass up. Sensational. Now it's like, I'm a real condor. I'm the real fucking condor. Drugs and taunting parrots is also a shonky idea. Come on, come on, get him, bite him. You know you want to, Mr. Parrot. It's justified. I endorse it. You can do it. Yes, fuck yes. Fuck yes, parrot. Hey, you going, everyone? Just letting you know that my book, Aussie Man's Mad World, is available to pre-order. It is real. It's 166 pages of just realness. It's a fucking, it's a roller coaster. I look back over the last three years and go over some of my favourite videos hand-picked by me, what I think are some of the best one-liners. I do a little reflection section. It's like, you know, it's like I'm bloody reviewing Aussie Man a little bit there. That's quite meta, that's quite scary, quite deep and profound. At the back, there's a fucking glossary of Australian words and phrases to help you overseas. Uh, you know, if you want to speak Australian anywhere, anytime, you can go, oh no, I've got a chunder, which means vomit. You can do that. Uh, you can use that. You're like, you can go, where are, where are me budgie smugglers? I want to go to the beach. Those are like your speedos. So you can really, you know, you can study up on this and, and it could be really helpful in everyday life, wherever you are in the world. Uh, I'm going to put the links in the post description below. Uh, there's an international link and an Australian link, so pay attention. Uh, but you can order it from anywhere, okay? So it's like fucking 15 bucks, 17 bucks, I think, international. It's not a lot. It's fun. It's good to read while you're on the toilet. It's a good coffee table book. It's a good conversation starter. If you don't give a fuck, that's fine too. Cheers.